Hello everyone, this is Sukshika Rajkuma from Arduino Projects by R and today I'm going to present you my new project. This project will be uh, data logging your heart rate and body temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit in Google Sheets. For this project you'll be needing a Node MCU 1.0 DevKit microcontroller board. Uh, you'll be needing the heart beat sensor uh, which is KY Node 39. This sensor can be quite tricky to work with and uh, the measurements won't be much accurate if you don't place your finger properly. Uh, this sensor uses the transmissive method to measure the heart, heart rate. Uh, when placing your finger on the heart beat sensor over here, you must place it appropriately because if you place it too hard, you wouldn't get accurate measurements and it and if you place it, uh, place it too light you can invite noise to your measurements i have used a ds 18b20 uh, temperature sensor and it's more and it's more accurate uh, when measuring the body temperature you could also use lm35 uh, sensor to measure your body temperature accurately this is a two color led module and in this and this LED model is able to light up as red, green or orange. I have used two push buttons over here and you'll be knowing why I have used them uh, when I show you how this works. And this uh, sensor over here is the IR sensor module. I've used this LED to indicate my heartbeat. This project is quite similar to my previous data logging project. And to learn how I did this project, please visit my blog. The link can be found in the description box below. Now let me show you how this works. Now I'm going to press this button. And you'll see what happens. When the finger is not placed on the heartbeat sensor, it will give an out analog output of 1024. To measure the heartbeat accurately, you have to set the threshold values and to learn how to do that, please visit my blog. The green light will be lit up until uh, you get the correct heartbeat and once you get the correct heartbeat, you can press this button again. <coughs> and I'm going to switch it off now. This button will work for the temperature sensor. It tells you to place your finger on the temperature sensor. So once you've measured your heart rate and your temperature, you can uh, hover your finger over this IR sensor so that it sends the request to the pushing box API service uh, where your information will be data logged into the Google Sheets. And here you could see that the request has been sent. So uh, the last two rows uh, indicate the measurements which I've taken right now.
I've used conditional formatting uh, in the sheet. The normal resting heart rate of an adult is uh, between 60 and 100 BPM. When the value is out of this range, uh, the cell will turn red like it's turned over here for 200 BPM and 18.29 BPM. The average body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Uh, so when your body temperature exceeds 37, it's going to be uh, highlighted as a red cell. This is my Fitbit watch and in this uh, I can see my average resting heart rate and I could use it to compare with the uh, heart heartbeat sensors measurements to see how accurate they are. So my average resting heart rate is 76 BPM and according to the values here uh, the heart rate uh, comes within that range. So I would say that this heartbeat sensor has some accuracy but it's but uh, when using this prototype for uh, accurate health measurements you could you you could replace this heartbeat sensor with a more accurate heartbeat sensor this data logging uh, project can be a prototype which can be used in health department so that the doctors can analyze the health measurements of their patients when you use accurate heartbeat sensor and a body temperature sensor this data logging project can be really effective for doctors to uh, use this data perfectly and this sheet could be shared with doctors and you don't have to uh, travel to the hospital to check your uh, vital measurements you can use remote testing instead <clears throat> and doctors from uh, far places can uh, monitor your health measurements to give you proper treatment so this is a prototype which i designed for that purpose thanks for watching follow my blog and subscribe my youtube channel to stay updated with my latest projects and tutorials don't forget to comment like and share